resident and emergency centre. sign of any other bleeding that's something i feel all right but the baby your baby will be fine Surely. Surely. okay sam all right up. here we go stuart yo i'm here dad what in blazes are you doing i was waiting to get to the hospital this case. hospital is she already in labor yeah, yeah she's worried we wouldn't get there in time so i'm speeding how close to get her in a contraction <laughs> Every few minutes. We'd better get her to Shortland Street. We can't. Please, Head, Dad. Head injury, Tom. And between this two minutes in this traffic. No. Please, just take us somewhere close. You know what? Come on, be reasonable. <laughs> All right, Shortland Street. Whoa! Oh, where's your mum? <laughs> there you go. lady, if you don't hurry up and get a doctor, I'm going to bleed to death. First things first. Oh, for goodness sake. Nurse Raina, take this girl through to the examination room. No, you'll have to come in and see a doctor. Hey, what's your name? Tara. Well, then so come to in you. Then. Okay. Bye. This way, please, Tara. Excuse me, I've got an appointment to see. Leave your name at the desk, please. You'll be seen by the first available sure, doctor. Marge, if Dr. Warner's not back in five minutes, could no, you I page him, please? Him. This is getting ridiculous. Yes, Miss Burton. Yes. Oh, can I help you? I'm honoured up at uh, Dr. McKenna's expecting. No, I oh, I'm terribly sorry. He's not back yet. He's just on the phone now. The new doctor has just arrived. Sure, he'd like to speak to you. Dr. McKenna. Ah, uh, rope powder. Yeah, sorry, I got held up at a board meeting. Look, I uh, hate to inconvenience you like this, but would you mind hanging on? I should only be half an hour or so. Oh, good. I'll see you soon. Uh, put Kirsty back on, will you? Kirsty? It's me. Dr. Ropeter, is it? Yeah. Hold Yeah. Carrie Burton, I'm charge okay. nurse here. Got it. I understand you've been working in South America. That's right, Guatemala. Yeah, and Rio. Well, you'll find things a little different at Shortland Street. We don't get many cases of malaria or snake bite. Do you reckon it needs stitches? Mm, it's hard to say. What are you, the work experience kid? Ow, careful. I'm sorry. Hi there. Just giving the new doctor a guided tour. This is another examination room. Good morning. Oh, Alison, this is Dr. Roberta. Hello. It's about time. My hand is killing me, and so is this nurse. I'm sorry, you'll have to wait for the duty doctor. Let's see if the theatre's free. No way. Leave me alone. Everything all right? No. Yes. How much longer am I going to have to wait? Not long. Nurse Rainer, call Dr. Warner. Oh, I don't think he's here. Well, where is he? Okay, good work, class. Give yourselves a clap. Yeah. And why don't you ever join me for a workout? That's exactly what I had in mind. Come on. Good-looking guy like you, I'd hate to see you turn to flat. Well, I guess I better exercise more often. Fancy a workout? But I've just done a 50-minute cardio funk. Oh, I'm sure you're up to it. What's the rush? Why don't we go back to your place? Uh, I'm on duty. This is my break. As usual, wham bam and back to work. Well, it won't matter if I'm a bit longer. They can always beat me. Hang on. 
We wouldn't want Brad to wander in, would we? No, it'll be a lousy way to meet your husband. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. I'll make it up to you, I promise. What's going on? Seems like every idiot's on the road today. Oh. You won't need any of those. Now, what's all this nonsense? I want to see a doctor. Show me. Oh, it's only a scratch. But it hurts. Miss Burton? We've got an emergency. Car accident, ambulance on its way. Thank you. Well, Tara, I will leave you in Nurse Rainer's capable hands until a doctor becomes available. No way. I'm not waiting around here any longer. What shall I do with her? You're not in the sticks now, my girl, so set to. <coughs> Clean it, dress it, then she can be on her way. Marge, is Dr. Fleming still in surgery? Yes, and she's likely to be there for quite some time yet. You're needed in triage. Right. Stuart! Good God, she's practically full term. Actually, she's in labour. Contractions have been pretty close. How close? Every two minutes. We were worried about the head injury. You know the Stuart, rules were not equipped for maternity. No, no, Look, this wound is only superficial. Well, I wasn't sure. She's very distressed. Any headache? No, not my head. But the baby, it feels like it's on its way. Would you like me to take a look? No, there's no need. This patient shouldn't even be here. I mean, you've got to do something. Look, take her through to the examination rooms, nurse. Stuart, what are you doing here? Later. Yeah, I'd like to know. Look, I'll tell you about it later. I'm sorry, you can't go in there. But I have to. Are you a relative? No. Well, I'm afraid. I'm the father. Oh, is it because of the accident? You're okay, just stay calm. The problem's got nothing to do with the accident. What problem? We've got a breach presentation. We should be better off at a hospital that's equipped to deal with it. There's time enough to move her, isn't there? That's debatable. Look, you don't seem to understand. I can deal with this. Look, it's up to the doctor on duty to decide what's to be done. For God's sake, find Dr Warner. You're okay, Lisa. The baby's turn, that's the only problem. Where the hell can he be? Kirsty, check the coffee shop. And look in the gym as well. Okay. Dr. McKenna's not back yet? No, he's not. Is Stuart still in there? Yes. How old is he? Sixteen. Well? Well, we're still paging Dr. Warner. You can't afford to wait any longer. Right, then we'll transfer her. No, it's too late for that. I can deal with this. Look! You just can't walk in here and perform a caesarean. So far as I'm concerned, you don't even work here yet. It doesn't have to be a caesarean. Anything is too dangerous. Not if you know what you're doing. You're not in Guatemala now, Dr. Ropata. If something goes wrong, we could all be in trouble. This clinic could lose its license. What's more important? A few rules or the well-being of the patient? It's not as simple as that. Yes, it is. <laughs> Sorry. I shouldn't have given you such a hard time. It's, it's just... What? You wouldn't understand. Try me. Oh, I come from the King Country originally. Oh, so do I. I'm from Tikawiti. I ran but... away. When I got here, I tried real hard to find a job, but no one would give me a go. <laughs> Even had to eat out of rubbish bins. How awful. Then this man offered me a place to stay, but when I got there, he locked me in a room. I was so afraid. Last night, I, I smashed a window and escaped. That's how I hurt my hand. What about your parents, Tara? Can you ring them? No. My father's very sick. It, it would kill him. Then go home. I would. I really want to go back. Start again. But I haven't even got the money for a ticket. I'll give it to you. You'd do that? Of course. Oh, thanks. 
I'll pay you back, I promise. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> Don't try to push me, so just relax. You're doing okay. I'm scared. Everything's under control. That's the way. You're all right. I'm just gonna have a listen. Any progress? Not yet. Look, I won't mention this again, but the ambulance is waiting should you need to transfer her. In the meantime, I'll assist. Thank you, Miss Burton. You're doing fine, Lisa. OK, I want to turn you around now, Lisa. Right. On your hands and knees, and then we're going to turn you around. You're doing right, OK, sweetie. that's the one. Over you go. Over Come you on. Go. Just relax through your contractions. Come on. Up there before the next one. That's Stuart, it. you can rub her back. OK, Lisa. Come on. Okay, okay that's the here we go. Here we go. <laughs> well, I'd better be getting back, just in case. Typical. Teach me to have an affair with a doctor. Oh, well, my page is off. I could have sworn it was on. I always think a doctor should give his patient his undivided attention. But you turned it off? Guilty. Oh, what if they needed me? Well, the clinic's crawling with doctors, isn't it? They'd just find someone else. Yeah, unless it was an emergency or something. Really, Jill, that was a stupid thing to do. Dr. Warner? Chris, are you there? Oh, no. What? That's Kirsty from across the road. They must need me. Popular boy. Paging Dr. Warner. Whoops. Why weren't you answering your pager? Don't tell me it was turned off. Something like that. I've really landed myself in it, haven't I? Up to here. <sighs> Any news? They're still in there. I can't believe Stuart's the father. He's been acting very strangely of late. I put it down to hormones. Well, you weren't far wrong. Have you ever seen that girl before? I don't think so. There's going to be trouble. I wasn't supposed to bring her here. Oh, I don't see you had any choice. Still, if something goes wrong, I'm the one that's going to get it in the neck. They'll say I brought her here because she was family. That's if she is family. It's very confusing. Look, oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's not working, is it? You're doing fine, Lisa, just fine. That's the way. <laughs> Millie there, Millie there. Keep pushing down, Lisa. Keep on, pushing push, down. Come on, push, push. Wonderful. It's almost over. OK, Keep Lisa, as hard as you can now. As hard as you can now, Hang on. Let's go. That's the way. You're doing well. You're doing well. OK, Lisa, I want you to gentle pushing now. Gentle pushing now. I can see the baby. Gentle pushing now, Lisa. Just try and do it gently. That's the way. You're doing well. That's the way, Lisa. You're doing well. Gentle pushing. Come on, that's good. That's good. Here we go. Okay, start to pant now, Lisa. The baby's coming out. Start to pant. Pant with her, Stuart. Pant with her. That's the way. You're doing well. Keep panting. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it is. Here it is. Well done. Well done. Beautiful girl. Doesn't it make it all worthwhile? There you go. Come on, there you go. Give the girl to the mother. Okay, just come, come back. Here, Lisa, now. come back. Just gently now. Take it easy. There, there she, she is. is. Oh. Do look at that. You can arrange that transfer to maternity now, Les. Uh, tell them the baby shows signs of mild respiratory distress. Yes, Doctor. But she'll be all right, won't she? Yeah, she'll just need careful monitoring, that's all. The baby's been through a lot. Come on, let her go. Thanks for staying with me. I told you I would. OK, Lisa, we can tidy up now. We want to turn around. Take it easy. You might feel a wee bit faint. That's the way. Just Round give her a hand, please, Stuart. Thank you. OK, just come on. right back there. OK, there you go. The thumbs is straight through the main doors until you left. They've got seaweed tablets there, too. Thank you very much. Kirsty? What? I've told you before. Well, can't do any harm. They probably do more good than most of the stuff they prescribe anyway. You'll get into trouble. Mark my words. Doctors don't do all those years of training for nothing. Did you find Dr Warner? Yes, he was in the gym. What was earth was he doing there? Helping out the aerobics instructor, you know, Jill. Oh, yes. I've seen her. She's married, isn't she? It's never stopped Chris before. 
That was an education. Oh, and uh, by the way, Grandma, it's a girl. What did he mean by Grandma? Oh, Dr. Warner. Hi, Marge. Did you miss me? We all did. You're not going to believe this, Carrie, but I was just across the Save road. Save the, the gym. explanations for Dr. McKenna. Right now, we have a waiting room full of people seeking your attention. Heaven help them. Hey, uh, what happened? A car accident. The woman was pregnant. Was? Yes, the new doctor delivered the baby. Oh, God. Uh, Mrs. Manson. Just this way, please. Here you go, $40. Is that enough? Probably. I can always have something to eat when I get home. Make it 50. Oh, I don't know how to thank you. Look, just take care of yourself. Tara, it's your life, and it's up to you to make something of it. Oh, I will, I promise. You know, all these teachers and social workers have talked to me before, but I never took any notice. You're an amazing person. Oh, there's nothing special about me. You'll find out that most people are good, if you give them half the chance. Yeah. Um, Alison, could I have a drink of water before I go? Oh, sure. There you go. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, miss. There's this form to fill in. And there's this to pay. Uh, hi, Marge. Is Dr. Ropart waiting upstairs? Uh, well, He's waiting, but I'd like a word before you see him. Well, is it important? I have kept him rather a long time. It's about Dr. Ropata. He was here when a maternity case was brought in. It was an accident, but no serious injuries. Dr. Ropata insisted on delivering the baby here. He what? I explained our position. He hasn't even started yet. Why? There was no other doctor here. I mean, with his complications, bleeding? It was breach. My God. I tried to reason with him, but he just bulldozed over me and went ahead. You know, the last thing I need is any more scandal. I would never have allowed this. No, 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 no. I know that. I'm not blaming you. What do you mean there was no other doctor? What about Warner? You know, ever since I've got here, I felt like... I felt like a country bumpkin. But I reckon if I can handle a tough kid like Tara, then I'm doing... City like... people really aren't any different. There's just more of them. How's your house hunting going? Oh, great. I found a neat little flat around the corner. I've left a deposit on it. I'm taking the bond over after work. What's wrong? Well, my purse. It's gone. It's got all my bond money in it. Don't panic. Where did you last see it? Um, it was in my locker. Uh... I took some money out for my lunch, and then when I gave Tara her money, I took Tara. my... Tara. Oh, Sam, you don't think... It's every cent I have in the world. Don't worry. Not lost, I hope. No, just taking a look around. Pretty impressive, I suppose. Oh, yeah, mate. All the latest stuff. Everything you could want except for the doctor. Yeah, a bit embarrassing, eh? But don't go around thinking things are getting slack here. That sort of thing's never happened before, even with Warner. So, what's up with this guy? Well, Kirsty seems to reckon he was over the road at the gym with his latest. <coughs> Flexing his muscles, you might say. <laughs> uh, don't get me wrong, uh, Warner's okay. A bit eager, but a good doctor. Once you get to know him, you'll be great friends. I wouldn't bet on it. Here you go. Thanks, Sammy. The same thing happened to me once. Judge helped this old guy cross the road. He hit me with his walking stick. <laughs> Told me to get lost. So what did the police say? I don't have a hope in getting it back. I can lend you some money. You're sick and I. What with? You told me you were broke. I am, but I could borrow some money and lend it to Alison. <sighs> Who would be foolish enough to lend you any money? Thanks, friend. How much do you need? Oh, it's OK, Sammy. Look, I'll last out until payday. Just the worst thing is I've got to go back to the hostel now. And then I've got to save for another bond. I'm going to lose that flat, too. Well, at least let me buy you a drink after work. What with? The money you owe me? You... Anyone seen Tom anywhere? But no. Tommy's probably having a kip in the back of the bugmobile. Watch it, young fella. What's up? Well, Dr McKenna's back and talking to Dr Roberta. 
And if there are questions being asked about this afternoon, Tom should be here to defend himself. It's okay. Everything turned out all right. That's not the point. I wouldn't like to be in Chris Warner's Gucci loafers right now. It's a new doctor I feel sorry for. He seems really nice. I believe Miss Burton explained the rules to you. I know the rules. Well, so you deliberately disregarded them? Well, I couldn't justify putting a mother and child at risk because of some ludicrous bit of red tape. There are sound reasons for that bit of red tape, as you call it. Perhaps there are sound reasons for disregarding it. You've been back in the country five minutes. You've never worked in a clinic like this before. Who the hell do you think you are telling me what's right and wrong? All I'm saying this is... This is a busy city clinic. We rely on rules and, more importantly, teamwork to keep the place running smoothly. Look, it doesn't seem to be working, does it? But I wouldn't have felt the need to take over if everything had been under control. But your staff here couldn't even produce a doctor when one was needed. OK, yeah, now just take it easy for a few days and, um... And if there are any problems, come back and see me, OK? Thank you. Chris, we were just talking about you. How nice of you to join us. Before you jump to any conclusions, I can explain... Yes, I'm things. sure you can. And for your sake, it better be damn good. Yesterday's and another place Just living for the times we've seen When the writing on the wall Says I'll be shining and strong This program was made with the help of your broadcasting fee, so you can see more of New Zealand on air.